All right, JR, the line of severe thunderstorms moved across the area, dropping heavy downpours and lots of lightning, and many are still without power tonight. Our Tiffany Maddox was in Midland, where the storm ripped through power lines and snapped trees. She has more on the storm and the recovery efforts tonight as crews continue to work. Tuesday, many parts of our viewing area from Genesee County to up north in Midland and surrounding counties experiencing thunderstorms, bringing out heavy rain, wind, and wiping out power. Power went out before the storm even really kicked in, so we had no power throughout the entire storm. In Midland, this busy intersection, along with businesses like Midland Liquor, were affected even before the height of the storm. And just miles away, we caught power and cleanup crews already out working. Midland County Emergency Management Coordinator Jennifer Boyle says luckily the damage wasn't too critical. Right now it's just our, our first responder agencies out there just making sure um, the roads are getting cleared and um, consumers being notified of any of those power line issues that are are out there and just encouraging people to, to stay safe. Consumer energy working around the clock as over 161,000 residents and businesses are without power across the area. Viewers from Sanford, Larkin Township, Pinconning and more sending pictures of downed trees and damage. Boyer tells us the National Weather Service called Tuesday's tornado warning out of an abundance of caution due to high winds. She says as far as she knows, there were no tornado sightings in the area. In the meantime, many people are without power. Local law enforcement and consumers both asking residents to remain patient and also stay safe while doing so. You know, stay home and stay, stay safe.